So for example, when it comes to Bani Israel, we find in Surah Baqarah, in Surah Al-Baqarah, a narrative or an anecdote that is, pre that is presented. That the Jews were asked to not engage in any type of commercial or business or work during their day of Sabbath. The day of Sabbath was meant to be a day of observing one's religious duties and not engaging in commercial practice, not working, and so on. And this was the way in which the Sabbath was defined to the Jewish community. And so the Quran speaks of a village of fishermen or a village where fishing was the, was the primary source of income or commercial enterprise. And so these fishermen, again, right, in observance of Sabbath, were not to, were not to fish on the day of the Sabbath. But on that day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests that village, that community by making the fish abundant in the water, literally jumping out of the water. Like this is a test from Allah. Will you obey the Sabbath or will you give in to your prophet? P-R-O-F-I-T, right? Will you give in to the temptation to engage in fishing? And so the, the villagers, the fishermen, they devise a way in which to avoid the specifics or the letter of the law by casting the nets out the night before and then going back after the Sabbath and then collecting the nets. And so they would have not engaged in fishing during the day of the Sabbath by laying out these nets prior the night before and to collect it after the Sabbath was over at sundown. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that this was a way of going astray, of incurring Allah's wrath. Because while they had skirted around the strictures of the law or the specifics of the law, the letter of the law, as we say, the letter of the law, what they failed to do was to be in a, was to practice or to live in accordance with the spirit and the essence of the law. Yes, you didn't engage in fishing on the day of the Sabbath or in the hours of the Sabbath, but you violated what the test or what the Sabbath was all about by trying to circumvent, by trying to go around or finding loopholes in the legal ordinance or the legal stri uh, scripture or stricture, by finding loopholes in the law. And so you resigned yourself or you said, okay, I'm not violating God's law or commandment of the Sabbath because I haven't actually engaged in fishing, but you violated the spirit of the law. And it is this idea of balance between law and spirit that we as a community are being called upon to practice in our daily lives.